What's up legends? So Helldivers 2 just tweaked around several weapons and one of them looked like a very hefty improvement and that's the Incendiary Breaker buff. In case you did not know, the Incendiary Breaker got buffed from 15 damage per pellet to 20 damage per pellet, a 33% damage increase. But not just that, but all sources of fire damage had their damage increased by a whopping 50% and of course, seeing how the Incendiary Breaker lights enemies and friends alike on fire, it begged the question, does this make the incendiary version officially stronger than the regular breaker? Personally, I already enjoyed the incendiary breaker thoroughly against bugs and thought that was a very strong choice. Albeit not as powerful as the regular breaker, but this update may have changed things around. First, let's compare both shotguns from a statistical point of view. The regular breaker, since its nerf, carries 13 rounds per magazine, the incendiary breaker carries 25 rounds per magazine, nearly twice as many as the regular breaker. Both weapons fire at a rate of 5 rounds per second. Now, the regular breaker will do a maximum damage of 330 damage per shot, assuming all pellets hit. The incendiary breaker will do 240 damage. Take into account the amount of rounds per magazine combined with the reload time and the breaker will be able to dish out a total of 841 damage per second while the incendiary can deal 800 damage. Now here's the catch. Outright, the breaker sounds like an overall better choice for dishing out damage but this only accounts for impact damage and not any damage caused by the fire triggered by the incendiary breaker. I searched around for exactly how much damage fire does per second to no luck, but I'd be willing to bet it does far more damage than that 41 DPS difference between the two weapons. In other words, I believe the breaker incendiary as of right now is being able to dish out more damage than the regular breaker on a best case scenario. In terms of reload time, rate of fire, and armor penetration, both weapons are statistically identical. However, the incendiary will outshine the regular breaker in magazine size as we mentioned earlier, also in total rounds across all mags, totaling over 150 shots while the regular breaker only carries about 91 shots. One downside of the incendiary breaker though is that the pellets are a bit lighter, making the pellet spread actually be very wide. So really, even though we can probably out DPS the regular breaker if we hit all pellets, odds are we aren't as the spread is actually larger than the one on the regular breaker. So it seems that Arrowhead has got an interesting grip on these two weapons, each of them will outshine the other in specific situations. Statistically, there is no clear winner here and will really come down to the player's preference, which is exactly the best case scenario for a game like Helldivers 2. However, we all know statistics don't quite make or break a weapon, it'll oftentimes come down to how it feels and performs on a live game when you're surrounded by dozens of bugs or automatons. So can the incendiary breaker perform better than the breaker when out there liberating planets? First, for the automatons, sadly the regular breaker isn't going to be at the top of our list when we're going up against automatons. The automatons require a much more precise style weapon that can focus down targets weak spots such as the slugger or an explosive type weapon that can take down striders from the front and even be able to take down heat sinks from tanks and turrets alike just like the scorcher can and well the incendiary breaker has an even worse spread than the regular breaker making it even harder to focus down weak spots and it's not explosive damage so that it can deal with striders and tanks so it's not a great choice on that end either you could argue that since you can light the strider pilot on fire it may be kind of effective at that but then again if you have a clear shot at the Strider's pilot, then any weapon can do that job just fine. So the only thing that leaves us to rely on there is the fire damage. And I'll say the fire damage can be quite decent. Lighting up the heavy devastators about two to three times seem to be enough to take them down. However, I could see this maybe be used in group play and take focus in lighting up as many enemies as you can on fire to deal that dot damage to various enemies. However, as my experiments were strictly in a solo player's environment, the incendiary breaker's potential against the automatons was rather limited. Moving over to the bugs though, is where both of these shotguns really really shine. 
The Breaker, as you may know, still is regarded as the best overall terminate weapon by a lot of different players, including myself, as it's able to trivialize most of the small to medium units with only one to two shots, reducing them to nothing but bug splat. The Breaker Incendiary, though, does look to try to carve its way into the meta as one of the best guns against bugs. As the Incendiary Breaker is very powerful at handling large swarms of bugs, if you've seen my previous video on Helldive difficulty using the Incendiary, you'll know what I'm talking about. The Incendiary Breaker is able to finish off a Hunter with pretty much one shot if that Hunter lights on fire, as the fire damage does seem to be enough to bring down that Hunter after a couple of ticks from the fire. The gun will lack in one area though, and that's dealing with Brute Commanders, as their heads take far more shots to take down and is very noticeable at that. I would argue the Incendiary Breaker is, however, better at dealing with Hive Guards, as lighting them up on fire will help you get rid of these medium armored units with a bit more ease than the regular Breaker. Also, one very real advantage of the Incendiary Breaker is that it's a little bit more noob friendly. And I'm not saying you're a noob if you use the Incendiary, what I'm saying is this weapon's a little bit more forgiving than the regular Breaker, due to an increase in ammo count and being able to light enemies on fire. With that, you can just kind of blast shots at large swarms of bugs without paying too much attention to hitting their weak spots and you effectively be dishing out a lot of damage by lighting up dozens of bugs on fire, many of which can die in one burn cycle. And since the weapon is more inaccurate anyways, it makes for aiming at weak spots a bit more redundant at medium to long ranges. Moving over to the regular breaker, its ammo count nowadays is fairly limited bringing you just shy of a few shots when dealing with a hunter patrol, which will usually spawn in waves of about 12 or so hunters. And since you often take more than one shot per hunter to deal, then odds are you'll be having to deal with a reload or two when dealing with small hunter groups. For more accurate and less trigger happy players, this issue is minimized, making the regular breaker still thrive at dealing with these groups. So once again, yet another factor that will come down for player to player. So from my personal experiments with the Breaker Incendiary, what do I think? Can the Incendiary beat the regular Breaker? For me, not really. I personally would prefer to opt in for the more accurate, stronger hitting Breaker over the more crowd controlling style of play the Incendiary Breaker offers. If I were a player who played in regular groups, I would likely prefer to use the Incendiary Breaker as you can spread out your damage with much more ease with the Incendiary. The regular Breaker though is best for completely solo play because it offers more of that kill it now type of concept and as a solo player since you have to prioritize certain enemy types rather than dishing out damage wildly then for me the regular Breaker still will offer the most value. But that's not to take away or underestimate the Incendiary Breaker at all. It's currently in a very powerful state against the bugs. Once again, I can't recommend it much against the bots, but maybe in a group play environment. So the verdict is, it'll depend on whether you're looking to be able to have more of that kill it now type of weapon with the regular Breaker, or if you're looking for a weapon that can spread out damage to various different units, which is of course going to be extremely useful especially in group play and that's about it for today thank you all for being here and watching until the end i'll catch you guys on the next one peace